MPs have condemned the retailer Sports Direct, saying its working practices resemble those of a Victorian workhouse. In a new report, the business committee says conditions at the company are appalling, with staff not being paid the minimum wage and being penalised for taking a break to drink water. A warning, there's flash photography in this report from our consumer affairs correspondent, Poppy Trowbridge. This is a Victorian workhouse, but these historical photos show conditions that one union boss says mirrors life at a modern-day sports direct outlet. It resembles, quote, a gulag, where workers were treated like commodities. Now a new report from MPs has also condemned practices at the company. We see in this report, um, looking at Sports Direct, some of the uh, deplorable conditions when it comes to workers' rights, with no dignity given to workers uh, whatsoever. Um, it's a bad example. Their report says that founder Mike Ashley is accountable for the appalling circumstances at the firm's stores and in its warehouses. Last month, Ashley appeared in front of a special committee of MPs to face allegations of illegal pay restrictions and bullying at the Shirebrook site. Have things come as a shock? Uh, some things have come as a bit of an unpleasant surprise, yes. It's clearly, clearly, clearly wrong. So uh, it's a bit like I can't control everything all the time. I agree with you, it's wrong. A spokesman for Sports Direct said, We will study the contents of the committee's report very carefully. It is our policy to treat all our people with dignity and respect. But the report also says two employment agencies who provided thousands of workers to Sports Direct also treated them poorly. It alleges one, Transline, deliberately misled MPs about their working practices. The company has responded saying, no incorrect or misleading information was given and we will respond to the committee on any and all issues raised within the report within the two-week deadline stipulated. Mike Ashley himself admits that perhaps Sports Direct has now become too big a business for him to oversee every detail. But what has also been revealed is that this combination of cheap products, rock bottom prices and pressure to generate profit for shareholders has resulted in working conditions that are below acceptable standards in a modern, civilized economy. That's what MPs say and they're worried it's becoming the norm. Some experts say the laws must be tougher. This is a time now when we need to recognise that we don't want people working in conditions that are appropriate for a Victorian workhouse in the modern day. And it's a time for greater protections for workers, agency workers, employees. Mike Ashley has promised to review conditions at his business and invited MPs to inspect his warehouses. But it now seems that the scale of the problem is wider than just one man and one warehouse. Poppy Trowbridge, Sky News.